Hey everyone, it's Aloysius for Kemba.com and today we're taking a look at the newest Magic the Gathering expansion set, Streets of New Capanna. And because it's been 25 years since I last played Magic the Gathering, I've invited two experts to help me out. Yeah, so I, the thing I like about Streets of New Coachella right, is that uh, there are many new mechanics and you know, we're going into like a uh, sort of a different phase of magic, you know, instead of the more sword and sandal stuff, we're going to more like gangsters. Gangsters. How about you? Uh, I like the art style a lot. The uh, mechanism is... I'm still, still very new, so I have yet to see uh, how, how, it, how it plays out. But in terms of um, the card itself, I really like them. So in the streets of New Capoeira, right, uh, there, are, there are five new mechanics that you'll, you'll face here. So first you have corn knives. Uh, arguably the best mechanic in the set. Then you have shield counters, uh, casualty, uh, alliance, and my favorite blitz. 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 But blitz has quite a quite. Blitz is quite. What's the word I'm looking for? Fast. <laughs> the word blitz <laughs> sort of gives you the impression of speed, and that's kind of what the card does. Right, you enter the battlefield very fast, you get haste, you punch them in the face. And yeah. then you sacrifice yourself. And then you draw a card. Yeah. So it replaces itself, so you don't lose anything. Other mechanics, uh, I would say casualty is, is decent as well. Because considering that it's, it plays in the colour of, uh, what was that family called? Uh, the, the Jan colour, which is the black, green, red colours. Mm -hmm. So they are very good at sacrificing things. So yes. a lot of times you will be sacrificing things and getting more out of casualty rather than just copying the spell. As the mechanics itself, um, it's decent lah. But with the whole family's team, right, it actually adds on to everything. Because uh, there's a lot of cards that says like when you sacrifice a creature, this happens, when you sacrifice mm, something, that mm. happens. So it actually helps the whole team to gel very well together. So as a yeah. set, actually the mechanism is very strong. My favorite mechanic is definitely connives because you know it implies you being sneaky, implies you being like conniving and like, hey, I'm going to like get extra cards and get more power out. <laughs> Which one do you think is the worst? Uh, I think Alliance. I think Alliance is the worst. Really? Yeah. Usually creature mechanics are a bit not as good. Not that. Yeah. Yeah. Who needs friends? I would say that this set is not really a very it's if it's a it's a more advanced set. Hmm. Maybe if you're a newer player, maybe it will I mean it's it's a good to jump in, but then uh, it might be a bit advanced because you're playing with mostly three colours, yeah. which is a bit hard to balance your mana curve. It's true. It's uh, true. Maybe for a more av uh, advanced player, they will feel right at home with this set mm. because of, you know, um, you have a lot more flexibility in playing with the different colours and how each colour works together. Yeah. Actually, it's quite, uh, it's quite interesting. Definitely. The, the set is definitely a lot more complicated. You look at all the, even the uncommon and common cards, it's like full of text. Look at this, it's like, what, six lines of text. And is this a magic card or Yu-Gi-Oh card? Know, man. And then yeah. you, if you start putting in all the like planeswalker cards, they're gonna it's gonna be super confusing. There's just a lot of land choices for for players to splash different colors, mm -hmm. work with different color combinations. So mm -hmm. uh, it's very fun. Yeah. And and speaking of choices, mm. this uh, this set also I think one of the sub mechanics that they don't really focus on is actually the the idea of choices. So like they they introduce charms back into the set. Uh, it gives you three different options on how you want to play this particular card. Mm. Or even like uh, the, lens. the lens. The lens also has a cycling mechanic which also lets you dump cards to try to uh, get more options while you're playing in mid-game. So while playing a person, you know, you would imagine they only have one playstyle but mm. usually now when everybody has so many choices mm. and this set is all about choices, you, yeah. you don't really know where they're going. Yeah. yeah. And I think the set is very well yeah. well designed. Because mm. like what you said, right, the land has cycling, right? Mm. It works into the same mechanism as corn knife, which is discarding mm. a card. Yeah. And there's a lot of cards that triggers when things when you discard cards. It's a lot of synergy. Yeah, a lot of synergy. Like for example, casualty, you sacrifice a creature, and blitz, you sacrifice the creature at the end of turn. Yeah. So they work very well together as well, in the same deck. Uh. Mm. It's true, uh, the more I think about it, the more I like this set. Okay. Oh. Yeah, at first I wasn't a believer in new cup new <laughs> new new Copa Cabana. Because <laughs> uh, you know, it, it really is very big departure from what you see right, from old right, magic right. sets, right? From old magic sets, you always see like people with swords, uh, mm. no guns. This one sort of has a little bit of guns inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 
value wise I think this set is um, quite neat because if you look at uh, the chase card that people are chasing right it's like one of this one of this planeswalker even the most expensive one is like close-ish to what forty dollars I would say and uh, I'm not too sure whether the price will stick however if you would like to invest mm. uh, there's this Bitcoin that no I'm just kidding uh, if you would like to invest <laughs> Uh, I would say you can invest in their suit products, especially mm, their, their commander products, because these uh, they are one of a kind. They release five of them, and each of them play very differently and mm. very very unique. And especially if you keep them in their original packaging, you know you don't get your dirty hands all over the cards, or uh, over the box. You know they really retain value and go they up do, over time. They do, yeah, actually they do. And commander is a really big thing now, so I would, I would say if people yeah. were, were to invest in a particular product, mm. maybe choose the commander sets. I think I can buy. Can. Yeah, I really think can buy. Can buy. Yo. Especially, uh, command. Commander sets. Commander sets. Buy. Can buy. Yeah. New Capybara. Yeah. New Coco. Coco. Ichiban. Coco Ichiban. Right. I'm Alex. I'm Ray. Bye. Bye. You know the story though. Uh, her name was Lola. She was a showgirl. Okay.